Hello, April here, and it is Friday. Yay! So, um, yeah, not too much that went on today. Uh, I just did my workout, which is just squats, but I decided since I didn't do anything yesterday, I mixed in some extra stuff. Every 25 squats, I did something. I think the first time I did like a standing crunch, and I counted like one, two, and I did 25 of those. Then after the next 25, I did Russian twists, and again I did one, two, 25 of those. And then after the next 25, I did calf raises. Um, 25 on each foot because I like doing it one foot at a time because I feel like I get more out of it. Um, uh, I did use the Batiste today and let me tell you I never want to use any dry shampoo other than this ever again in my life. It was so good. Like the Tresemme I would like spray it on and be like eh still looks really dirty, and I'd rub it in, and be like, still looks really dirty, and then I'd like spray a little bit more, and I'd be like, oh, it's okay now, but this, like, immediately after spraying it on, it, my hair looked clean, and it absorbed the grease and got rid of it, and yeah, my hair was greasy and flat because I had been wearing a hat all day, and now, now, yes. I can go out in public like this. I'm so happy. Um, it smells good, and the you can tell it actually does have color and it doesn't just come out white. And that's the only little downside I have to this. Not that it comes out with a color and it's not white. That if you spray too much of this in your hair and you start brushing your hair, you can get some dark brown patches over your face on your fingers. It doesn't really matter because you just take like a wet washcloth and wipe it away and it's gone. But you just gotta be careful about that. So if you're wearing a white shirt, you probably should put a towel over your shoulders before you use this or it's gonna get some dark brown powder on it. So yeah, I highly recommend this is fantastic, smells good, works well, just all over the best dry shampoo I've ever used in my life. Um, other than that, I had uh, spinach and rice again for lunch, and I've been snacking on fruit all day. I don't, I didn't realize how much I missed having fresh fruits and vegetables until fit February. Because literally, I'm just like munching on apples. I'm like, this is probably the most delectable thing I've ever had in my entire life. Why don't I eat this more often? And so I do. I have it like every single day I have an apple. It's so delicious. Clementines. Celery. Spinach. Broccoli. Carrots. All of it delicious. And I forgot that they were. I enjoy eating vegetables and fruits. And some people find that weird because they don't like certain vegetables. I pretty much like every vegetable. Even cabbage, just not raw. There are some vegetables I don't like raw and some vegetables I don't like cooked. But I like all vegetables. Except ones I haven't tried. Like beets. I don't, I've never tried beets. <laughs> so I don't know if I like beets. But I say I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um... So yeah, for the rest of the night, pretty much not doing anything. I do have a lot of energy, though. I almost feel like I want to work out some more. Um, I might do that. I also do have to go through more of my wardrobe, which I should probably also do. Don't put it off, April, you freaking procrastinator. Get your stuff together. You, It's blatantly obvious when I try and censor myself when I'd like to cuss. Blatantly obvious. So yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm going to be working out. And yeah. Oh, also, in my free time this week, I'm going to be painting a crate. I don't know if you see it back there. Probably not. 
probably not sure how my camera's being held. It covers up exactly where I was pointing. So I don't even know. I could have been pointing to ghosts. There could have been a face there. And I would have been none the wiser. It's really creepy, but yeah. So, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.